Both time and money could have been factors in Adam Gregg's decision to immediately step down as Iowa's lieutenant governor. First, the time. If Gregg wanted to be Iowa's next governor, he might have had to wait another five and a half years for the chance if Kim Reynolds decided to run for another term. That would add up to nearly 13 years serving as Iowa's number two before he got the chance to run to be number one. Now the financial side of this, by stepping aside and taking this new job as president and CEO of the Iowa Bankers Association, Greg can make substantially more money for his family. Meanwhile, Iowa's governor can now pick the person she wants to replace her one day, regardless of whether that would be potentially in 2026 or 2030, until she names that new lieutenant governor, Amy Sinclair, Iowa's Senate president, will essentially serve as the number two in the state if anything should happen to the governor. In Des Moines, I'm Dave Price.